everyone. Welcome to Alpha Wisdom. I'm Misty Cassandria. We're continuing our analysis of a handprint. This one has more on it. This is the hand of an person, independent person, and also it's a hand with someone that has a simian line. We've sort of taken a, taken a peek at this the last time or the, you saw it. All right, so we have this here, and let's get started. Here we have index finger all in the loop, so we'll take the loops first. You notice this tends to lean over. That means the person is looking for branching out, okay? Okay, now, so the ulnar loop, commonly known as simple loop or common loop, gives a strong sense of themselves to the individual. With a tendency towards secrecy, single-mindedness, and a need for space, okay? They find it difficult to take orders from others and can be guilty of shutting others out, all right? Here we have it on the middle finger. When it's here, the person's views on work and belief systems, they tend to turn into pragmatic or simple old fashioned patterns. They have a sense of duty and like order method and fairness in values they follow. And justice is important to them. Let's go on to the world. Let's take the ring finger. When a world is on this finger, it indicates the mental approach to self-expression. This indicates individual tastes in creativity, dress, music, and the arts. A sense of perspective is indicated with good spatial awareness and a flair for design. All right, let's take the world here, little finger. When it's here, it's like the print is saying the mental wavelength of this person is on communication. It's rare to have a world on the little finger, okay? And it shows a love of insider knowledge and language in specialized field. People with this here, when it's there, since it is rare, are interested or they're drawn to the mysterious workings of ancient things like maybe astrology or Greek conceptual art, okay? Now, we've covered all of these and let's get into the palm, on the palm. On the palm we have here a loop, it's called Loop of Roger, and here it's called Loop of Humor. All right, so let's get that first. Let's take this one. It's between the index finger and the middle finger. Loop of Roger and also mean loop of serious intent. A particular goal connected with a serious hobby or other interest that dominates the person's life. The person, actually the sign indicates charisma. <laughs> the person has a goal, and if it takes years, they stick by that goal until it comes alive. And it usually does. We find this on many entertainers. All right, let's take the loop of humor. Loop of humor. It could be small or large. Regardless of the size, the same meaning between the ring finger and the little finger. When it appears, it confers a cheerful disposition and a good sense of humor. So that's what we have here. Now let's go on to here. We're looking at the heart line. And I've circled this. This is where it starts. Chained. These little markings, how lines are branching away. That's a chain. So don't get confused with this being a headline, which does start here, but the headline doesn't end like this. This is definitely a heart line. Okay, so what does this mean? This indicates emotional and possibly sexual turmoil, especially in the person's life as a youth, young person, okay? 
All right, let's go on. Travel signs. The person does a lot of traveling. Here's the fate line. So we have the fate line here and the fate line here. Trying, it goes a little bit. Sorry, I pointed to the wrong one. Here's fate line here and here's fate line here. Okay. Trying, but it doesn't really take them all the way up. It's like two jobs going at the same time. And maybe they went as far as the person wanted them to go. Okay. But probably, I feel the interests change. They wanted more. Okay. Here we have two lines in here. These are support lines. Remember, they're found, cl found close to the lifeline. Speaking of the lifeline, you've got a little disruption in the energy here. And that could be illness or it could be adjusting to the family. You just come into the world and trying to be in, being independent as this person is, then there might have been some air, little problems in here, growing problems, you'd call it that. And we've got worry lines. Here we have worry lines. And I've already told you about the lifeline week in here. And it ends at age 21 when that weakness leaves it and it tends to find themselves at that point at age 21. Okay. So of course we have the headline here. Okay. I always try to find you good or oh, very clear prints. Many times they're not so good, but we do the best that we can. All right. This ends the lesson for this week. If you like this, by all means, give a thumbs up and share and subscribe. Welcome to the new subscribers. Happy you are here. Very happy. Okay. Well, have a great day. Love yourself. Love and light. Bye.